Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. My name is Carol Dow and I am so honored that you are here with me. Today I want to talk about what's happening in the world, the coronavirus, and also the timing of certain things that are happening. And call me a conspiracy theorist, whatever. I don't necessarily um, adhere to titles, as, as you've seen from my, from my other videos. Um, I question a lot of things uh, personally and spiritually and um, professionally. I That's how you really start learning about yourself, about your whys. If you question your own whys, you're able to discern and see through what is being told to you. Um, and because the more truth that you can understand about yourself, the more reflection of truth you can see through the lies of everything else. As we are fed fake news, fake food, fake friends, and just all that stuff, there's a lot of stuff you have to sift through your entire life. And in order to see truth, you really, really need to know your own truth. And I started questioning a lot of things in regards to the coronavirus. And the moment I saw the first news of the outbreak in Wuhan, my first thought was depopulation, population control. There's 7.7 .7 billion people on our planet. 7.7 .7 billion. Um, natural resources. Our natural resources are few and far in between. And as we humans destroy our earth, as we only have just explored 5% of our ocean, but about 70% of our ocean's surface is polluted, that's a problem. And it's just becoming more and more. And as our forests and shrubbery and greenery and Mother Earth are ravaged by scavengers, and scavengers are the humans on this earth, um, to make more money, we are killing our planet. And there's not going to be an, enough resources for the 7.7 .7 billion people on this world. Water is going to be very, 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 very scarce in the next so many years. Scarce? Scarce. Excuse me, I speak four languages and I've lived abroad. <laughs> I, some words, American English words, I've, I butcher them. My friends have a ball about them, about that. Um, but I was born and raised in the States, go figure. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about the coronavirus and what's the underlying agenda? There's an agenda there. It's not just some virus that happened to outbreak in Wuhan. Population control. And my first thought was also, this is a test. This is a test to see how fast it could, it could spread around the world and what us humans would do in a reaction. Why would I think that? Or why would that come up first thought? For those of you who don't know me, I was a mortgage banker for about 14 years. Um, I was a successful mortgage banker in Southern California. And in 2015, I woke up and had a dream. And in this dream, I knew someone in my life was sick. And I followed through on this vision and dream and ended up saving this person's life as they were beginning to bleed internally. And in six months to a year, if I did not intervene, they would have bled out and died. That turned my whole entire life upside down and sitting in a cubicle selling mortgages even though I was making a lot of money and over six figures, barely working six, seven hours a day, it wasn't enough to keep me there. So I started to question my existence on this planet and what I was really meant to do. And I let go of my job, my 
my relationships. Um, I, I said goodbye basically to everybody. And um, I let go of a life that I knew and um, just jumped straight into the unknown. Over the course of the last five years, I've honed all my extrasensory gifts. Uh, people who find me have found me from um, just, it's all been word of mouth. And uh, my clients range from anywhere from like CEOs to doctors to healers. I'm like the healer's healer. And um, uh, usually when people are at their their wits end and they've called priests and shamans and brahmins to assist and um, help them, uh, I kind of show up and I'm able to do things that the other previous healers, psychic mediums, doctors, therapists, pills, shamans, priests, whatever have you, they, they weren't able to um, attain or have the result in. And one of my biggest and my um, strongest abilities and gifts is my is being a claircognizant. I have the clear ability of clear knowing. I just know things without physical proof. And I've honed this for five years. And um, that's the first thought when I thought of coronavirus, depopulation. And this is a test. This is absolutely a test. And we have not even, this is the tip of the iceberg of what's to come. And so maybe some of you are like, is she telling the truth? Is this for real? Yeah, it's, it's for real. Um, I'm, I'm pretty practical and, and pragmatic in my thought processes. I follow, I still follow the stock market and the 10 year bond. And I, um, I am knowledgeable at like ETFs and also EFTs. And so I, EFT, so I, there's a spiritual side of me. And then there's the very pragmatic, practical, grounded side of me, which was myself the entire, you know, my entire existence. And then I shifted into the spiritual, uh, invisible world because of a dream. But I've always had these gifts. It was really interesting because I never, I was so unconscious of them, but I've always had them. And the moment I stepped into my role uh, and, and shifted uh, into more of the invisible spiritual side, so many people ended up messaging me and saying, hey, Carol, do you remember when you said this and you called this and you gave a message from my dad? Who passed away or do you remember when you used to we used to you know go here and go to vegas and then you would tell us beforehand what would happen and it was so natural to me before it was just something that i always did but i never honed it and i never i never went that route because i grew up in orange county california and um money made the world go round and money um was my identity and uh, out of fear, I ended up staying in the mortgage business, but it's very lucrative and it was very easy for myself. And um, so that's my first thought when it, 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 I came, when uh, it was about the coronavirus and all of that stuff. And then, so I started, you know, just thinking more and, and I started just kind of researching. And did you guys know in 2000, I think it was 15 or 16, Bill Gates gave a talk on TED Talk about um, how the world's not ready for a pandemic. And then in 2017, pandemic bonds were created. At the end of 2019 was when the coronavirus broke out in Wuhan. We are now in 2020, March of 2020. And Bill Gates just stepped down as CEO of Microsoft three days ago, I believe. Isn't that strange with that time frame? There are no coincidences in this world. I believe that 100%. My life has shifted in a way that um, many people who have been with me in a 24 hour period or with me during certain times, they have seen the magic that exists in every single second of our, of our lives. And there are no coincidences in this world and life. And I travel through different realms and dimensions. But you know what's also very interesting? That the Disneyland CEO, 
he stepped down also in the last couple of months. Interesting, right? Because of my knowing and because of um, the who I am and um, what I've accomplished in a spiritual way and spiritual realms in the last five years, um, there's a shift in a mass exit of the elite and those in the know to Mars. How do I know this? I just know it. I'm given visions. I have downloads. A lot of people know this. And a lot of people who are, are conscious and aware, they've known this for a while. And I'm just confirming a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Um, so that's happening. The Dalai Lama just posted, I believe it was yesterday or two days ago, that the world needs to band together as if we were going to have an alien invasion. We are. They're here. And I channel outs, Earth's outsiders. I call them Earth's outsiders and because they're just a whole bunch of groups. And I channel them. And there's an unimaginable power just heading straight to earth. And I just know certain things. And, and it's the same thing. If I, if I save someone's life and then I did it year after year with other people, just with my knowing, if I can tap into people and just know certain things and I, I, can, I can find a fragment of their soul in a different dimension or a parallel life and then pull it back and then they're whole and then they're happy. It's, it's interesting because what is happening now with the, um, the underlying agenda with the elite and then that's one side and then the spiritual shifts from the 3D world to the fifth dimension, that's another side. And then, then there's the aliens. The world ain't ready for aliens, you guys. After what's happening, I mean, during what's happening right now, did you guys see, like, Americans really aren't taking it serious. A lot of Americans aren't taking what's happening with the virus very serious. Just because I know it's an agenda and I speak to other people, I know it's, it's, there's something underlying and it's shifting our focus from what's really going on in the world. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit back and have my friends and family catch a coronavirus where or a virus and it's it's not just a virus the fact that our hospitals and medical care and all of that stuff it's the the structure of our healthcare is so bad that even to get in to get help is going to be worse than the virus itself because for you for everyone in America right now and imagine the lines that that were in place before Costco or Walmart or or Target opened and people were running inside to get toilet paper. And if you were at the end of the line or maybe in the middle of the line and you got inside and there was no more toilet paper, switch that with hospital beds and ventilators. What do you think is going to happen? If people overreact and they rush for toilet papers and they get sick, not even the coronavirus, but just get upper respiratory infection or just a cold, a cough, a sickness and the overreaction of that, that is what is going to happen. And if not already happening, and, and I mean, Seattle right now is, overwhelmed. So those are my thoughts today. If you guys have any thoughts, please comment below. And um, I send you guys all just many blessings for my self quarantine here in Eastern Europe. Hmm. Namaste.